Alright, well, this is going to be interesting. Today we're going to look at something a little bit different than from what uh, is normally done. As you can see, this is Diddy Kong's Quest, which is of course Donkey Kong Country 2. But it's going to be a little bit different because it is a Donkey Kong Country 2 hack. And if you don't know what a hack is, well, I guess you're going to come to find out pretty soon. I've already done a little bit of it, and uh, the reason why I'm not going to do a new game is because something a very simple reason is because you have to oh crap that didn't work i'll just re re i'll just reload my state and uh the thing is is that when you start this game when you start the hack you have to go and put in a cheat and uh you have to go and put in a cheat called barrel axe which is basically just the b a r r a l a and x buttons and what that does in a normal game that would usually take away your uh your your DK barrels, but in this game it gives you your it gives you both Kongs in the beginning of a level, and that's needed to complete a level. You can see I've already I played this game for a while. I've played this game for a couple of hours, and I've only gotten this far. This game is pretty hard. It's, the hack is called uh the hack is called as hard as concrete, or I think it's just hard as concrete. K O N G R E T E Pretty, pretty clever, I gotta say. But yeah, let's just uh, go and jump into the first level and let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, if you know anything about Donkey Kong Country 2, you know that this is not how the beginning of the, uh, this is not how the start of the game begins. Definitely not. We have a letter up there, which uh, I guess I'll try to get just for the sake of, I don't know, being more masochistic to myself. Yeah, see. Uh, the problem is, is that, uh... Oh, what? The problem is here that you have... Oh, yeah, see, there we go. That was pretty good. The problem is, is that you have to keep both Kongs in the level with you at all times. You can't let either one of them die because they're needed to complete the level at the very end. So if one of them dies, you fail the you fail the level and you have to restart. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of the time to constantly be restarting the level over and over again. So I'll just be using save states because this is not a real game and thus not be treated like one. But it is pretty challenging, as in that part right there. I mean, I can do most of this stuff without save states, but I'm gonna put them down anyway. And this part right here can be pretty tricky. It's just timing at this point. Oh, oh. And then you go underneath here, and that's how you get past there. And it gives us a couple of little headshot guys along with the crocodile. I think the main game does that too, only in like later stages. I think there, there's an O up here. It says, yep, right over there. So there's an O. No, 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 don't throw her. All right, now this part can be very tricky. Very tricky. This is where I got stuck at a, a lot. I'll show you the way that I did it the first time. It's the first time playing through this level. I didn't know about the cheat code that you have to put in in order to get both Kongs because these because these levels don't give you DK barrels. This is how I did it the first time. Uh, I went over here. I went off screen, safe stated, and then I oh nope not that way. It just took me a couple of tries to do. Because that guy right down, right, that guy right down there, he will instantly come for you, and you have almost little to no time to jump on him to kill him. So he will be a problem. Nope. You have to maneuver your way underneath that bee. And it can only be done off screen, because that's that's the perfect... Okay, there we go. I got it in, the, in this position. So now, when you're like this in this position, uh... The sword guy will not come for you. So what I did, what, what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to uh, throw your, oh, you're supposed to throw your partner over so you can both land on the other side. But what I did is I had this guy come for me. I had that guy come for me. I had I jumped off of him, jumped over to B, and continued on. So that's how I did this without the other uh, Kong. So let's see if I can try to do that again. Oh, there we go. See, I see in the system. All right, already. See, obviously, what you're supposed to do is supposed to stand down there, 
uh, and do that to get your Kong over, so both of you will will uh, get over. And then we have a little yay, because I got past a really hard part, apparently. But I got past it with only one Kong, when you're supposed to get past it with two. So I felt pretty good about myself because of that. And uh, then we come to this part, which is pretty hard. And we have this TNT guy running at you. And so what I did the first time is, uh... I got rid of that guy. And you can't open up this barrel because when you try to... Or, not the barrel, you can't open up the Rambi crate. Because if you try to get it, if you try to jump at it, it would just jump over it and to the barrels above. So obviously what we had to do is you had to wait down here and open it up that way. You do the same thing to actually jump on the top of him. And destroy that guy. And then once you have Rambi, then you think it would be easy, but no, it doesn't. It's not easy at this point. It's like, oh, I have Rambi. The level's gonna become easy now. <laughs> no. No, it's not. Because the sword guys will start falling from the sky and somehow they, they get through Rambi's defenses and it and they'll hurt you while on Rambi. So what you have to do is... This guy will be pretty easy. Oh, crap. You have to take them out one at a time. Okay, yeah, so take care of that guy, then you got to run back. And do the same thing again, except this time you got to jump and get him. Because if they land on the ground, then you're not going to be able to... Uh, they're going to hurt you. So you got to do the same thing again, take care of that guy while he's in midair. And we're good. There's an N right there, but I don't really feel like getting it. I know, I got the, other, I got the K and the O, but I didn't get the other two things. Alright, well this part's pretty easy with the with the rhinoceros here. And uh, this part, it can be kind of tricky. I kind of figured out what you had to do fairly fast, because you have to ram, and you get to jump as soon as you start, and you start going at running speed. Which actually really isn't that bad, because I thought you had to do some like precision jumps. But luckily, they give you lots of bees, lots of bees underneath the level and to, and to the side of you, so that you don't go flying off. Which is quite nice. It's pretty good level design. If you're gonna make him, if you're gonna make the player do a long jump like that. It's nice to have some sort of boundary so you don't go flying off. But unfortunately, the nicest soon ends when you realize you have to do the same thing again, but on a single barrel. So I'll be able to put safe state right here. Oh, okay, well that really is actually isn't too bad. And then the screen somehow pushes you over to the right. And at this point, when I first went through the level, I'm like, alright, I got through this, I got through this, I got through the level this far. Oh, hey, look, there's an end. But unfortunately, what you find at the, at the end of every single one of these levels is the reason why you need both Kongs. It's because they always put two Bs over the, over the little ending panel, or whatever you want to call it, the little ending target. And there's no way to do this. I've tried... I sat here trying like different stuff for about for about like half an hour trying to figure out how to get Diddy himself onto that little uh, switch. And while there may be a way, I I could not manage it. So what you have to do is you have to go get hurt and then use a hit use your uh, invincibility frames to finish the level from your other Kong. And this is why the barrel axe cheat is important, because since you lost your Kong, normally you wouldn't be able to go carry on to the next level with both of them. But because of the cheat activated, when you go on to the next one, you have both of them again, which is quite nice. This is why the cheat is needed. Nice for you. Those guys have a very, very small hitbox of opportunity to kill them, but it can be done. It can be done. And I think over here is bees. Yes, bees. This... The one thing, oh, the one thing in a Donkey Kong Country hack you need is definitely bees. But this is really too bad once you get the timing down. And we have these muscle heads, who uh, I don't think can be killed. I haven't tried yet, but I really don't want to. And here is a big F U. Okay, yeah, there we go. If you aren't quick, that little crocodile guy will screw you over. And I'm getting called. Alright, that was completely useless. Let's go on. Got a completely worthless call. Yeah, see, that little crocodile guy will uh, instantly come and hurt you if you try to if you try to go up that, that string. So that's why they give you bananas there to tell you to jump off to the side. Which is pretty good. 
And obviously, you need both Kongs here because you gotta make a pretty tricky jump. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's kind of tricky because uh, if your Kong doesn't land on the platform in time, uh, the bee will hurt you. And of course, this guy is gonna just keep abusing those little slidey guys at the level. Oh. You know, I should probably just use Dix just probably just use Dixie. What I usually do in like the, for the main game, for like the un unhacked game, I will always keep Dixie in, re in reserve. But since I since you need both Kongs in order to finish the level, it only makes sense to always use uh always use Dixie. I think there's an O down here. Yes, there's an O. All right, got that. So that's pretty good. Safe say here. Cause I think there's a big FU coming up again. Again with the crocodiles. No, wait, no, 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 no. See, this is a big FU. I figured out in the, in the when I first playing this game is uh there's this guy. Oh crap! There's that TNT guy who doesn't not only kill you, but I mean, he's pretty easy to get rid of. So like, okay, this guy just he's just here. He's just meant to screw you over. So you simply do that, and uh, you take care of these guys, right? And while they're pretty challenging because they're on a higher slope, they're on the high ground! So, you know, not too, not too bad, really. But, you come to this point, you're like, oh. 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 You can't do anything here. You can only get, you can only get bananas. You have, the only way to get on that rope is to hurt yourself, but since you need both Kongs until the end of the level, you have to go back and uh, get the TNT guy, which because you killed at the very beginning, he's not here anymore. So, reload. And what you do is you have to make him run, oh come on, you have to make him run off screen. While you kill these guys. Yeah, there we go, okay. So now... Oh, come on! You have to... Icon. You run off screen because that doesn't count as you killing him. All right, cool. Got two for one. Oh, nice. I didn't know. I didn't know he killed him uh, for two for one. That's pretty nice. All right, and now he'll come back because uh, because you never officially killed him. He just kind of ran off screen. So we got rid of that. Oh, <laughs> pretty uh, pretty glad that I actually hit. So save. And now we can actually climb with the rope safely. And this part is going to be a big part of trouble. Go here. Alright. Okay, I don't know how safe you are right here, but go ahead and save. Ooh, oh, 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 wow, nice. That was pretty risky, but uh, it worked out, so it was pretty good. Uh, is anybody... I think a crocodile is going to come down and try to kill us here, aren't it? Yep, there he is. If you're off to the far right or far left, he, he won't hurt you, though. But I did get hurt by him, and I was pretty mad. Like, I will fall down, so I don't think he'll just walk back and forth. And I don't think you can kill these guys, right? Oh, you can kill them! What?! Then why are they red? Why are they red? If you... Okay, whatever. Okay, I guess you can kill them, never mind. Well, just ignore me. I just never bothered killing them. I always just tried to avoid them. Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> Good thing I safe it there. Alright. So this is what this guy likes to do a lot. He likes to put uh, enemies ahead of you so that you don't know where they're coming from. It just kind of surprise you. Okay, this part is pretty tricky, but it's just timing. So you go up here, and you think you're good. Yep, there we go. And you just mose your way across the string, and you're done! But obviously, because they, he puts two bees right there, you uh, have to sacrifice one of your Kongs to, get to finish the level. And I didn't get the end, but whatever. He finished the level, so it's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Once I know these courses, they're not really too bad. I'm just wanting to sell them off because I think these courses are actually secretly really well made. They're hard, but they're not Kaijo like. If you don't know what Kaijo like, it's just a really. Just for what people call really hard versions of ROM hacks. I mean, they're hard, but they're not like impossible hard. Like, with a few practice runs, I probably could get through these ha get through these levels without using save states. It's definitely is possible. Anyway, let's go on to Gangplank Gallon. 
Aw, oh, nice. That's my favorite music in the game here. And, uh, you remember this shortcut? Nope. <laughs> no shortcut for you. Oh, I remember this level. This level is cheap. This level is very cheap with its, uh... This level's whole gimmick is that, uh, a lot of the stuff is gonna be off-screen, or underneath the screen, to be more precise. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, I think there's something up there, but I think it's just a letter, so I don't really care about that. Oops! Ah, oh, crap. There we go. I need to learn to either save save or rewind, not both. Save, alright. Just in case you're wondering who created the hack, I'll put the information in the video. Wow. I'll put the information- oh, huh? Okay. Diddy, you're up. You're probably better at this than Dixie is. There we go. Man, of course. You get through one thing and you get screwed over by something else. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. There we go! Yeah, there you go. If you, in case you're wondering who created this hack, I'll put the link and information in the description because I can't... My internet is down... Wow. My internet is down right now, so I cannot look up to see who it was that created this. But but once my internet is up, is back up, I will put the information in the description. Alright, this part's pretty hard. You have to have some pretty good timing right here. Almost. Ooh. Are you kidding me? What did I land on the first time? And how did I get hit there? I've swore I was above him. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Now where's this send me? Alright. Nope. My bad. Wrong button. Go here. Go here. I think this part can be pretty bad. Yeah. If you keep going that way, you'll just, uh, die. So that's why there's a banana on the mast there. To sell you to go down. And of course you anger that guy off, like, right away. But what you have to actually do here is, uh, you actually have to go beneath the screen. And if you go off to the right, you'll die. But, if you go to the left, you get a banana. And a letter. But what I think we're actually supposed to do is just fly over here, and you're good. Yeah, so you can actually see the floor over there, which is kind of weird. So I don't know how that works, if you can see the floor or whatever. But it tells you to go down, so you go down. Oh. Uh, this part. This part, they give you a lot of flies, and you had to bounce on them. And of course, it wouldn't be a hack if you couldn't see where you're going! There we go. That was actually so Really? Oh. I did good on that the first part. I didn't die at all that the first time going through this. There we go. Just hook uh, left, right, and left. Or right, left, and right. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Alright. So we got through that obstacle. Now what do we have to do next? Uh, looks like we need Dixie for this. There are some parts where you will need Dixie to get across you need work to uh, get across to far away places. Uh, do those flies come back? Hello? Okay, well it's a good thing I have safe state over here instead of safe state on those uh, barrels. Alright, so let's go ahead and hurry up, go over here. There we go. Aha! I thought I could trick us by uh, putting a whole bunch of those life stealers and TNT guys. But it's not so bad. And here you need Dixie yet again! Because you gotta fly over here, get the G, and keep going until you hit the wall of bees to make sure that uh, you have both Kongs at end. So you have to complete the level with uh, Diddy. And I don't know how you're supposed to get that DK token or whatever, but there's supposedly a way. There's where you save at. I've already saved, so we're good. Actually, it's probably save again, to be honest. Do I have... I don't have enough, uh... No, I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough, uh, stupid... 
uh, banana coins to save or oh, whatever. That's fine. It's fine. We don't need to save. I have save states after all. And there's Dixie. Right. I was gonna worry about her. See, this is weird because this entire area is underwater, but when you start off the level, you can actually walk around, and do cartwheels until you go off the side somewhere. Yeah, right here, and then you start to swim. But it's kind of weird. I don't know why that is, but it is. And actually, this level, this level right here, is uh, its main gimmick is darkness. Yet, it's actually not that bad. It really isn't that bad, to be honest. I think you can get the Caesar Fist somewhere. Oh god, no, why? I think you can get the Caesar Fist somewhere. And yes, I call him the Caesar Fist because, uh, he will give you seizures if you tap left and right on your, uh, D pad. I think he's in the area, you can get the Caesar Fist in the area with the, uh, with the bonus, with the bonus room. And you're, yeah, yeah, it'd be, it's pretty easy to find. He's pretty generous about that, but giving you a banana to go up here. And here he is! Caesar Fizz! He's a fizz that gives you Caesars. Alright, let's go. So now, the level becomes a lot easier. And like I said, this actually is one of the most... This is actually... Ah. Well, no, this is one of the more easier levels as I die several times. Right? 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 Yeah, right, that's right. This is one of the more easier levels where I die a thousand times in a row. Because it's just basically timing right here. There's really no jumps to have to do. It's just basically take your time and uh, avoid the chompers and the starfist. The chompers really aren't that bad, to be honest. It's the starfist. He places the starfist in really good locations so that uh, it just threw you over. It's like they're following you or something. This level really isn't the worst one. It's actually pretty tame compared to the other two levels I did. And of course, the pink ones really aren't that bad. They just home in on your current location, not where you're going. So we're gonna follow this orange guy. Alright, get that guy out of the way. So this really isn't... Uh, every time I say this isn't so bad, I, I die, which is quite hilarious if you ask me. But, it's actually pretty cool that they made a, uh, Donkey Kong a full Donkey Kong Country 2 hack. Before this, I actually found another Donkey Kong Country 2 hack, which really wasn't that hard. But, it was different. And they only, uh, hacked it up to world, up to half of World 2. So it wasn't complete by any means. But it was still pretty cool to play, and that was the first one I did play. I think this is actually near the end. Notice how they have, like, thousands of chompers here to try to screw you over. Oh, what? I didn't get hit by that! Okay, there we go. We're fine, we're fine now. Yep, we're just gonna go up here. And I think we gotta get hit by this guy. Yep. And that's in the level. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe? Uh, yeah, it is. Get out of here! Oh, I kind of want that banana coin because I really want to save again. I really want another hard save. There we go. Uh, yeah, so like the first hack that I played of a Donkey Kong Country 2 one is uh, was actually pretty good. It, it didn't really change that much. It just added a few enemies, changed the level around a bit, so it really wasn't that bad. But this one, oh my god, this one. This one changes the level. This one has way more difficulty. Uh, I mean, I guess it is called Hard as Concrete, so it does definitely live up to its name. Definitely does live up to its name. So now I will be getting into uh, unknown territories because I have not played this level, or have I? I don't know if I played this or not. I definitely haven't beaten it. Oh, I haven't played this at all. Oh no. Alright, so that's about it for the levels I know. Let's go for the levels I don't know, huh? I say that's a pretty good idea. Like I said before, oh, in case you didn't notice, what this guy actually really likes is he he's actually made all the platforms icy. He's actually made all the platforms here uh, have ice physics. See how, uh, like, for example, I'll, I'll move uh, right and I let go when he keeps walking. That means you have ice physics. Ice, phys ice physics on. Thank you for talking, please. I can grammar good, you know. What the heck was that? Oh, there must be a bee up there or something. 
there is. Oh, that's just to screw you over, isn't it? This is like, oh, I see something up here. And then the only thing up here is to be in death. I see how it is. I see how it is, game. Alright, that's pretty tricky, I gotta say. I don't know how you get that K, but uh, let's try. I do have save state, so you might as well try for stuff. Um, can you do this? Oh, hold on. I have an idea here. Ah! Wait, where does this take me? No, that's death. Hold on, I think I can do this. I think I can get a K. If I fall down, and then, like, shoot myself back up... Uh. <laughs> oh! Nice! I did not think I was able to do that. I was kind of silent though, trying to, uh... Trying to concentrate, but it looks like I did it. And what do we have here? We have a cannon guy blocking our way. So how am I gonna do this? Probably this way. No. Uh... Oh, oh, oh I almost had there. Nope. Almost. Spot on timing! There we go, that wasn't so bad at all. See, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, it looks hard, but it's really not that bad. The guy uh, who made this said, If you can't beat the main game 102% in under two hours, this hack isn't for you. Yeah, well, let me tell you, I never did that. But I also have fun with this nonetheless. Uh, can I just... Oh, hold on, let me save here. No, uh, trying to get underneath that. Maybe I could get a run and start here. Ah. Eh, this is gonna be kind of tricky to time because I don't think I can make that jump normally, can I? Well, it looks almost possible. Like you can make that jump with a with like a kind of running jump here. <laughs> You know, if you don't get hit by a cannonball first. The worst part is that these cannonballs bounce off of objects so they stay on the screen longer than they have to. It's really annoying. Uh, yeah, I can't make that jump normally. So, which means I do have to do this, uh, do the monkey throw. Which is gonna be really tricky. Oh, nice! I did it! Hooray! Can I... Kill this guy from below? I can. Good. Now, is there anything in secret over here? I should know about? No. Alright. So that's that's good, that's good. That's pretty oh again! Oh, this guy loves his cannonballs, doesn't he? Well, I can get rid of that fat I can get rid of the muscly guy really fast. No problem. Oh, I don't even need to uh, do this. This is pretty easy. Come on, the main game did stuff harder than that. What's down here? Nothing, alright. And how do we do this? Can I stay over here? Good, good. Oh, what? Okay, now, that's just being a little bit mean. Because I'm trying to, uh, hit this guy. Okay, now I'm just confused. Can I go over to his left? Oh, he's not there. He's actually... He's actually below. I see. Oh, he's actually above. Well... I'm actually not gonna kill him, because I might need him later. You never know how these hacks are. You might need to bounce off of him later for something, so I'll leave him there for now. He's not causing me trouble anymore. Can I get that O? Oh, I did. Hold on. If I got that O, we're... I'd have to get that O from down here, which I don't think I want to do. No, I can't even get it from down here. That's weird. I don't wonder how you get that. Because even if I were to float with Dixie, I would have to go back to the lower roots or whatever. I guess we'll be fine with that. Can I use this guy to get rid of this bee? Thank you. They try to screw you over this TNT guy, but he helps you most of the time. Get rid of a couple, or well, at least one enemy. Uh huh. Well, this is a little sticky wicket we got ourselves into. 
Um, oh boy. Oh boy! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, alright. Wow, wow, um... This is going to require some insane timing here. I guess step one would be to get as close to the bees as possible. The stinger is inside Diddy's hat, but we won't talk about that. And second of all, I'm going to have to lean to the right to avoid the bees. Go up and then go to the left. Alright, here we go. Haha, <laughs> nice! That's pretty good. Actually, it wasn't so bad once you kind of think about it. Oh! Hi guys. Um, excuse me? Oh, nice. I forgot that you could actually kill these guys. I really did. It's just that they're so hard to kill normally because they're always on ropes. That, uh... What's over here? I see there's a cannon guy that screwed me over a second ago. There is a uh, bee on a rope. So what if I go over here and sacrifice sacrifice myself? What will happen? Oh, let me skip past the level. Yet, as we all know, probably at the end of this level, we're gonna need both Kong to live. So that's not gonna leave me an option here. Oh, no. Same thing again, huh? Okay, here we go. Uh, this is going to be used tricky. Wait a second, can't I just, uh... Jump past the zinger here? I can. Haha! <laughs> Thank you, Dixie, for having very cheap flying powers. Thank you, Dixie, indeed. Alright, so this would be pretty good. This isn't so bad at all. They did worse stuff in the main game for that. Uh, same thing again! Alright, um... This time I don't think I can jump past him. I, I don't think I can do that. Oh my god, how? How? How am I going to do this? How? I got past those other two times. I can definitely do it this time. I'm just trying to sit here and think how I can do this. Okay, now can I get off to the right and lean left? Please? Just do that for me. There we go. So actually, if I can do that... If I can get to the right... Lean left, there we go, just like that. And then all I'll have to do is just go up to the right and to the left. Okay... This is almost possible. This is, this is possible. I know it can be done. No. Aha! Perfect. Alright, good. Good. So that definitely does take some intense timing right there. I did not think that was possible. Hey, screw you! I'm glad I got... I wanted to kill that guy. He was worse. Out of all of them. Alright. So just some simple bee dodging. Oh no! <laughs> What is this? Oh, I saved right here? What is this? What is this? No. No. <laughs> what? I I don't even know how to make this. I don't. I thought that last one was impossible, but now. Now. What am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? Okay, I made it this far. Am I to believe that... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, come on, I'm trying to jump here. Oh, I can do this, alright. I can do this. I can cheat the system. What it wants me to do is it wants me to zigzag through here. But I can probably... No, I just don't. I just need to not press right. That's all I gotta do. I just can't press right because if I do, I'll lean to the. 
And if I jump, I'll, I'll get hit by a cannonball also. This might take a couple times. Ah, that was a complete failure right there. The wrong timing. Now, hold on a second. I was able to do it earlier. I lost my timing now. I, I completely lost it. It doesn't help that if I'm next to a cannonball and I jump, I get hit. That just makes a couple of these tries seem really annoying. Catch my drift here? Well, why can't I do it? Hold on, I was able to do it a second ago. Now I can't pull it off at all. That's odd. Well, I'll try to do it in normal way, alright? Fine. I can't, I can't seem to do it normally either. I don't think I'm fast enough. Yeah, I'm not fast. I'm holding on the Y button. I'm pressing right as soon as the cannonball goes. I'm not fast enough for that. I'm not fast enough to go to the right. Well, this is this is just giant sticky wicket we got ourselves into here. How? How am I going to do this? How so indeed? Did it! Did it! Don't hit me! Thank you! Thank you, I'm safe here. I'm safe here for a moment. Save again, oh my god. I'm glad that that bee doesn't go all the way. Well, I'd really be screwed. Alright, all I just gotta do is... Timing! That's all I gotta do. There we go. Not so bad. And there's the middle level right there. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Can I? Oh hey, look. There's a DK coin up there. But how would you get that? Um. Wow. That's a Cincy back. Screw you, game. Anything up there? No. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you want all the Kong letters? You are you a completionist? Well, go and do it again. <laughs> this is why I'm not a completionist, ladies and gentlemen. This is why. We're gonna give Dixie the credit for that level, so we're gonna sacrifice Diddy to the bee gods and finish the level. All right. I don't know if that was long enough to consider cutting out or speeding up. That wasn't really that long. I think it was probably that for about a minute or two. So, we'll see how that is in editing. Um, so now, let's see how the bosses are. Let's see if, if he seems the bosses at all, because I'm actually interested to know. Oh, uh, excuse me. I don't seem to have my Diddy next to me here. Did my barrel lacks code kind of, like, run out or something? Um, hold on a second. Or are you just, or does a bear lax code not work for bosses? Let's see here. Will I get Diddy back if I go through here? Oh, I do. All right, so I'll just start select. I don't have Diddy and Dixie. <laughs> Screw you, game. I know your, I know your secrets. So looks like we have the certain. Looks like oh, oh, oh. The lower does not scroll. That's nice to know. Okay. So, the level does not scroll, and we have a red bee patrolling the area around here. It's actually really isn't that bad. It definitely does make the boss fight harder with not having the screen to uh, scroll left and right. But in the end, it's uh, not that bad. Screw you. I like that bee in the bottom. I don't know what the bee in the top really does. Like, what's the point of that? That's all the way over there. Oh, did I kill him? I did. Nice. Didn't even use any save states. All right. I did have to slightly abuse the system by going back in a level, getting back my Kong, and then coming back. So yeah. Well, that that about does it. I really didn't want to even want to sell much. I really just wanted to sell the first world and how awesome this hack is. The hack is once again. Hard as concrete, but then again, you probably know that from the title of the video. There's a Donkey Kong Country 2 hack that was, I, if my memory serves me right, it was done on like the D, DKC Atlas or something. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't have my internet up, so I can't. I cannot look for that information right now. But when it is up, and when this video goes up, I will try to remember to put the the download link and the description about it in the uh, description of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this because it was pretty fun to play, especially those last two levels because I haven't played them before. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't think I'm gonna do any more of this. I just kind of want to play on my own. Because, as from what I can tell, this is only going to get harder. So, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.